Good evening and thank you for joining us for Oregon's News at 7. I'm Kristen Goodwillie. 911 calls are up by 21% in the last five years in Eugene and police say they can't get to one of those or one of the uh, three calls because they just don't have the manpower. But is safety a problem? Now, the new police chief wants you to know uh, what or he wants to know what you think. My apologies. As KZI 9 News at 5 starts right now. Well, as we come on the air, we are tracking breaking news out of Benton County. City, li city officials tell me that once that, since be before that ordinance goes into effect, they'll have a website up where business owners and property owners can decide whether to opt in or out on a website. General Ellen Rosenblum called the plans an utter dis disregard for public safety. But go and that can really affect the effectiveness. It is not worth losing your life over a flip-flop. That's a message to the pros who, uh, from the pros who keep people safe. Team roping is a male-dominated sport, and tonight you're going to see teams of just women. The girls showed off their horsemanship Wednesday morning as part of the pageant. It's really just a great family. I mean, everybody around here, you smile at them, even if they don't know who you are. They'll wave, they'll ask you, how are you doing, how's your family? A fortified facility um, that we take responsibility and help to encourage the community to come down and participate in this with uh, this. Um, it's absolutely essential to what we welcome today. These girls solemnly swear they're up to no good. The ladder can extend to a little bit more than 100 feet. Yeah, boy, is there a big enough garage there for crying out loud? Crews are still training on the one point. But here is a look at the traffic moving westbound. A little bit slower, definitely nothing that we have not seen before. Well, continuing our uh, coverage of Oregon on fire. Well, experts say that hate, cr hate crimes have nearly doubled in Eugene. Let's put a high there. Let's throw in some more, some uh, oranges. So let's throw in some suns and a little bit of fog. With this plan, Boyat says residents should not expect must disru disruption. Excuse me. There will be simple tasks of pavement preservation, overlay, and. For the time being, Katie recommends you keep your pets and family safe. I'm sorry that he would say said that earlier before we knew that the cougar had been shot. It Reporting live in downtown Eugene, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News. Thousand block of Cedar Park Road. We do have team coverage. KEZI 9 News anchor Bob Shaper is looking at just how many officer-involved shootings that we have had this summer. But we begin with KEZI 9 News reporter Michael Severin live in Cottage Grove. Michael? Heat-related illnesses. Break ZI 9 News reporter Michael Severin is live in Eugene at the victim's home tonight. Michael? Eugene tonight with what you need to look out for in your home. Rachel? Also, why cougars sometimes make their way into town. Macy? KZI 9 News anchor Bob Shaper is at the E-Web headquarters just a few feet from the Future Park to tell us about the meeting just about to start. Bob? But safer, Madison? From Omaha with our coverage brought to you by the Good Feed Store. Haley? People today about those changes and Macy, how are people reacting tonight? Show us why officers say that training is so critical. Tyler? What smokers think about that, Michael? Big emergency in Madison. Nine news at five o'clock. Well, I'm live here at Long's Meat Market on Oak and 28th Street, where we are looking, I should say 28th Avenue, gosh, uh, but we are here anyways. Let's just get to the good stuff, the meat, to the ultimate summer barbecue giveaway. We are going to give away $500 from Long's Meat Market, which is this, and then also a grill from Eugene True Value Hardware. So you can come down here tonight, get a taste of what you could win in just about a week. You can um, sign up or Oh, what is the word? Enter yourself. Goodness, sorry. Uh, online at KZI.com. All right, let's get to the weather. Beautiful conditions right now in Eugene. We are looking at hot temperatures. I think the heat is getting to be. It's 96 degrees at this moment. It is definitely hot. I'll have a close look at your forecast coming up next. With some hot temperatures, luckily you saw cooler temperatures are on the way. And then warm it up again at the start of next week Should for we the Douglas it? County Fair. We don't, we, don't, we don't need to look at that yet. Just the cooler hair. <laughs> All right. All right. Two, <laughs> all right. All right.
Two hours. <laughs> All right. All right. Two hours. Here in Western Oregon, we're a little better off. Wear loose and light colored clothing. Because it is, it is definitely hot. It is hot. It's still hot. So we expect the hot temperatures to stick around. Just prepare for some hot temperatures. Where we are dealing with some hot temperatures. I'll have a look at how hot they are right now. Hot temperatures are going to stick around. And we are looking at some hot temperatures at this moment. And we're looking at hot temperatures for yet another day. We do have some cooler temperatures on our way. Yes, I have showers, but it, won't, we, it will only be a few light showers. For the Lane and Lynn County Fairs, we've... Excuse me, definitely had some hot years, so we're oh, not. Yeah. There are a couple planets that you can see tonight. Venus is just to the west. We also have Mars that is to the southeast. It's that red spot in the sky. And Jupiter, which is just to the south. So if you're interested in that, you can see them pretty good. Here is a live look over Eugene. Yeah, I can't see anything in this direction. We have 90 plus degree temperatures Ugh. here in Eugene. 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 Well, I definitely like seeing those 70s on the board. Yeah. Those are my favorite. It's nice. I kind of like the 80s and 90s, I'm not going to lie. Ugh. <laughs> Seems like summer's here. Yes. I would say. Ugh. <laughs> I would say. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Reached out to Oregon State for a response to the lawsuit. A university spokesman says they have received it and are reviewing it. He says they are committed to campus safety, educating students on sexual violence, and providing resources. In just an hour, the Benton County Fair has a brand new spin on their classic rodeo, and you can see it only tonight for Ladies' Night. KZI 9 News reporter Macy Highland shows us what makes this year's rodeo so special. 7 is closed and some people are being told to get out right now. Crews say the South Valley fire has near Defer has burned at several structures. Firefighters say they believe it started accidentally, but a shed fire, but it is now stretching for miles. Take a look at that. How am I even going to hold that, you guys? This is wild. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Thank you. You guys, the Lynn County Fair is expecting its biggest attendance on record this year. So they brought in, they brought out all the stops. I mean, check out this elephant ear. And the camel rides were new. And we gave you a look at the Screamer, a ride that's new this year. Now, all weekend, the gates will be opening at 11 a.m. Prepare to pay $7 for tickets for adults, $5 if you're over 60, and kids getting in for free. Also, make sure to bring $5 for parking. Come in and have a good weekend, have some fun, and enjoy a giant elephant ear. For now, I'm Macy Highland reporting live at the, the Lynn County Fair. Suspicious backpack at Junction City this afternoon turned out to be nothing more than a backpack. The bomb squad was called out to West 6th Avenue and Glenwood Street for a bomb scare at about 1.30. That's in the area of Max Porter's Coffee House. People thought it was suspicious because there was a gas can next to it, but police say they evacuated several businesses in the area and checked it out with a robot. Turns out it was a backpack with a gas can next to it. To replace those flowers. What? That's nice. Who steals bulbs? <laughs> Just a little bit every night. Little teaser. Marissa Walzen. Well, before we take a look at conditions along the coast, the Oregon Department of Forestry just issued uh, a high fire danger or has actually raised the level of our fire danger in Lane County, Southern Lynn County, and also parts of Northern Douglas County. And there are some restrictions that are in place. Uh, public or us, the general public, are not allowed to use gas powered equipment. On, or, excuse me, are only allowed to use it until 10 a.m. and then you have to wait all the way until 8 p.m. until you can use it again. So tub of ice to play in. They're burrowing beneath the ice cubes, rolling around in it, and they're actually chewing on the ice. They're also given frozen treats to help stay cool. Aww. Otter pops, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's good. Mm -hmm. That was a that's bad good. joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've learned well. Oh, yeah. See you back here at 6 o'clock. David Muir's coming up next. Well, that'll do it for tonight. Thank you for joining us on Oregon's News at 7. We'll see you back here for Oregon's News at 10. Have a good night.